Hi, I'm Phil Ashey from the American Anglican Council with your weekly Anglican Perspective. Today, Archbishop Daniel Deng Bol of the Episcopal Church of the Sudan asked us to pray for persecuted Christians and others in the Sudan. For the second time in 20 years, it appears the Islamic regime in Khartoum is specifically targeting the people of the Nuba Mountains uh, because they have stood against Sharia law and to that end, they are bombing them from the air. They're uh, executing them from house to house. They're raping them. We have independent reports from journalists uh, who made it through into the area, though most journalists have been banned. What can we do for these poor uh, brothers and sisters in Christ who are being persecuted, just as many were persecuted in the Darfur? Well, let me suggest four things. Number one, be informed. Uh, find out from organizations like the Barnabas Fund that work within the Anglican Communion and can report on this. Secondly, share this information. Share this video with your friends on your Facebook page. Uh, tweet about it. Uh, email others about it. Uh, number three, pray. Pray. Jesus said in Luke 18, using the example of the persistent widow, and will not God bring about justice for his chosen ones who cry out to him day and night? Will he keep putting them off? I tell you, he will see that they get justice and quickly. So let's pray fervently. Let's pray continually for justice in this area. And finally, please contact your representative and ask them to put pressure on the government of the Sudan and the United Nations to end what appears to be another genocide. Thank you.